Hello everyone, my name is Oves Akhtar and I am a product manager with Sitecore. Today I am going to demo rule-based content profiling feature which we are releasing with Sitecore XP 10.1. In this demo, I will provide a brief introduction to content profiling feature in Sitecore XP. After that, I will give an introduction to the use case which I will be using for this demo. After that, we will implement the use case as it was done before rule-based content profiling. In the final step, I will implement the same use case using rule-based content profiling. So let's go. Setting a profile, content profiling in Sitecore XP is a three-step process. First of all, you will define the content profiles you want to track when a visitor visits your website. This will include creation of content profiles, creation of profile cards, and pattern cards. Once you are done, you will assign the profiles created in the previous step to individual pages. This will mean that you will open each page, assign the profile, save, and publish. Once the pages have been assigned profiles and published, Sitecore will automatically track the profiles as visitor visits these pages. And you'll be able to personalize the experience of the visitor with personalization rules based on pattern cards or individual profile values. With rule-based content profiling, we have tried to make the content profiling process easier and efficient for the marketer. In this feature, our marketer will be able to define rules based on already known information. Then assign a profile card and Sitecore will execute these rules as the visitor visits the website. In Sitecore XP 10.1, a marketer can define these rules based on tags assigned to a pages. For example, in a movie website, horror movies may be tagged with the tag horror and the marketer can create a rule specifying that when a visitor visits horror movies, increase her behavior profile that she might like horror movies and then show her information about the latest horror releases as she visits the website. Keeping the same example, if the content tree is organized using genre, then you might want to say, you know, anybody who actually, if the visitor visits a website which is under the horror section, then increase the same behavior profile. So these are these two ways you can actually use rules based on the pre-existing application information and, and, and profile your, your content. And you might get the idea because that kind of is, makes things much easier and much simpler. So instead of going through your 20 or 30 or 100 horror movies, you can just basically tag your content properly or organize your content in a proper way and then simply use create one rule to tag uh, to, to, to manage the behavior profiles for that particular content. Our demo today is built using the Sitecore uh, Lighthouse sample website. We'll be interested in tracking visitor behavior as she visits your health section of the website. So let's look at the marketing control panel and see the profile setup. So as you can see here, we have, this is our marketing control panel and we have set up some profiles already. Uh, we are interested in the health focus uh, behavior profile that we have created. You can see we have created this profile and we have some profile keys here and we have created a profile card which will increase the user's uh, behavior profile as she visits the website. And we have also created these two pattern cards. One is likes fitness. I mean, somebody who's mildly interested in fitness maybe, and then a fitness fanatic. So somebody is really into fitness and we will see based on how she visits the website, how, do, how does she transit transitions from one pattern to another. Okay, uh, now let's see how will you set up the behavior profiles by assigning it to individual pages. Um, so I am in the content editor here and you see we have this uh, 
website and then we have the your health section here so if you see here what i have done is that i have attached a behavior profile the same profile card that we discussed before the fitness one to this page since i want all the pages under this section to be tagged like this what i've done is i have went ahead and have tagged all of them with this content profile and i would like to invite you to think about that if imagine you have hundreds or at least tens of pages here what you will be doing is that you have to go to each individual page here and assign this profile there and also imagine that if something changes what will happen you might need to go through these tens or pages tens or hundreds of pages again and repeat the same process but i'm getting ahead of myself so let's just try so so i have set this up and let's see how does this works and try to simulate when a user behave you know visits the website to simulate this behavior i'm using experience editor and we have a really nice explore feature here which will let you explore how user will visit the website and how different aspects of site core will change while the user is visiting so let me just need to make sure that we have reset everything and let's go so now this is basically where we, we see the profile scores at the moment so there are no profile keys applied at the moment because we are on the home page here so let's start to browse a little so if you remember there was a page over there called activate your fitness tracker so let's just visit this page and see how this impacts our profile scores so you can see here you know this is the first time i'm visiting a page which is related to the your health section so that is actually now given me some profile scores and it has matched my pattern to that i like fitness obviously that's my first page to visit okay let's just go right into the your health section okay my score is increasing because i'm visiting a page which was tagged with this profile card but i'm still my pattern is still likes fitness okay what else we can do here um, hmm, i want to maybe find a, a virtual trainer so i'm on this page i can find with virtual trainer and i am most probably still like fitness so but my my scores are increasing which you will see and finally let me go back to my your health page and look and look at that so basically what happened here is that since i have was spending too much time reading and spending time in in this uh, your health section so now it has matched the second pattern which is the fitness fanatic so that's basically how content profiling works and in this particular case i've shown you that i have assigned this profile to individual pages and from and as the user was visiting the website or visitor was visiting the website it keeps on profiling the behavior and and actually assigning it different patterns and and you know if you you can use this pattern using a personalization uh, rule to personalize experience for me okay now for the next part of the demo what i have done is that i have removed all the direct assignments of the profiles to these pages so you can see there is you get the profile card is no longer assigned to the, your health page or the registered the fitness tracker or the trainer finder so you don't you, i have removed all the profiles from here and now i kind of want to get the same result in as you seen previously so for that, what we will do is we're going to open the marketing control panel. In the marketing control panel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create rules that will provide me the same effect. So let's see, I am here and this is the new section that we had, had added. It's called marketing definition mapping. And over here, I can create a new rule. Now let's name this rule something that we can understand. So 
So over here, I'm just naming it. When under your health section, assign fitness car. That's very intuitive, and you can even understand what, what I'm just about to go into. Okay, so let's add a rule. And you can see we have uh, two types of rules that you can add. One is based on item hierarchy, and the other one is using the item tags. So in this current scenario, I think this one, this condition will satisfy my requirements here because I'm trying to say is that when a specific items or one of his descendants are visited, which let me see are, yeah, over here. So what I'm trying to say is that this rule will be, will be, will be activated when user is visiting your health section or your health page and any other page under that section as you saw in in the previous part of the demo and then i'm going to say okay now i have set up the condition now i have to set up an action what do i want site code to do when this happens and if you remember we will just need to add a profile card here and the profile card i want to use from our previous demo is fitness. So double clicked and we are done. So so now let's just have a look at it again. What I'm telling Sitecore is saying, hey, when an item user visits an item which is your health or page or any of its descendants, then please ap apply fitness card over here. And that's what Sitecore is supposed to do. And we done and we save and let's go to our explorer and maybe refresh just to make sure everything is okay and you see here we don't have any profile keys because we are on the home page and my expectations are that when I start to browse this site into the health section it starts to up update these uh, profiles. So let's say activate the fitness tracker. That was the first step, if you remember from this. And you can see over here, we have already started to profile this uh, based, this content based on rules. And let's go back to our your health section. And it's updating. And if I go to your virtual trainer, still updating I'm still I still like fitness when I uh, you know like fitness but maybe when I go back to the your health I am a fitness fanatic now so now you see that instead of going through three four items assigning that profile I just went and created one record and you can imagine that if you, as I said previously you can imagine you can have 10, 20, 30 pages like that, which can follow the same rules. So instead of going and editing 20, 30 pages, what you will need to do is just go and create one page, one rule or update one rule and you're done. Okay, so we are back in to our rule and I just wanted to show another scenario here. Imagine your marketing department comes back to you after you have created this, that they also have some articles which are not descendants of um, your health section but they want to apply the same profile card then user visited to, visited, visits those uh, articles as well so what you're going to do is you actually will ask them please tag the articles with a specific tag over here let's imagine that specific tag is health so you will go and update the rule and find the tag and say okay health sounds good and you can say okay and you can say now the rule reads the following where the item is is the your health item or one of its descendants so everything under health section or where the item the health tag is assigned to the item which means that the item has been tagged with with health tag and what it's going to do it's going to perform the same action that is apply the profile card so 
and save and you are done so you can see you know that you can change this very very quickly this could have meant that you have to go through each and every article that marketing department has created and set up this rule uh, set up this profile but in this particular case it just took you two minutes to set up a new marketing strategy uh, i'd like to thank you very much and i am hopeful that you will find this feature useful and it will make your life a bit easier